Welcome, star explorers, to an epic journey through the wonders of the cosmos unveiled by the James Webb Space Telescope. Today, we will delve into the depths of the universe, exploring its most extraordinary discoveries thus far. The James Webb Space Telescope, its keen eye focused on the infinite, has provided us with an unprecedented perspective on the universe. We marvel at the revelation of ancient cosmic artifacts, with a structure dating back 13.8 billion years, challenging time itself. Through its penetrating gaze, the James Webb has led us to the discovery of new worlds, including a habitable planet that makes us dream of life beyond Earth's boundaries. An invitation to imagine the unimaginable, to explore the infinite possibilities that the universe holds for us. And what about the clearest image ever captured of Proxima b, a planet suspended in cosmic darkness, revealed in breathtaking detail, opening a window to alien worlds and cosmic adventures. The James Webb Space Telescope does not stop there. It has shaken the foundations of our knowledge, revealing a disturbing secret about Pluto that defies all expectations. Its discoveries push us beyond known limits, opening the doors to new cosmic mysteries and questions. A journey through the true scale of the universe awaits us, an expanded perspective that compels us to reconsider our place in this vast interstellar space. The James Webb guides us through the sublime, showing us our world in relation to the infinite cosmos. Finally, we will unveil the dark secrets of black holes, fascinating cosmic enigmas that the James Webb Space Telescope has scrutinized with curious eyes. A dive into the heart of the unknown, where gravity becomes a mystery and time bends to celestial rules. Prepare yourselves then for an epic odyssey among the stars, guided by the fascinating visions and unparalleled discoveries of the James Webb Space Telescope. Without further delay, let us begin this extraordinary cosmic journey. The search for understanding the origin of the vast world that surrounds us has given rise to disciplines such as astronomy and cosmology, allowing us to acquire deep knowledge of the realm of space and its cosmic wonders. For example, the observation that the universe does not have a uniform distribution, with some regions denser than others, has fueled the Big Bang Theory, a universally accepted pillar to explain the origin of life in the universe. This theory proposes that the universe began with an explosion from a single point, expanding and cooling over time to become what we know today. Signals such as the Cosmic Microwave Background, CMB, seem to corroborate this theory. The CMB represents the residue of the first light emitted after the formation of the universe, a persistent glow from the Big Bang over 13.8 billion years ago. This light encapsulates valuable information about the primordial universe. Over time, theories about the evolution of the universe have undergone profound transformations, thanks to discoveries made possible by the introduction of increasingly sophisticated research tools. However, surprise and incredulity arise when unexpected and enigmatic events occur in the cosmos, pushing the scientific community to question the presence of mysterious forces or the misinterpretation of fundamental laws of physics from the very beginning. One such event has been revealed by the James Webb Space Telescope. As well known, this telescope has revolutionized 21 cent century cosmology providing not only crystal-clear images of space beyond Earth, but also enabling a deeper analysis of the cosmos. Designed to observe stars and galaxies formed shortly after the Big Bang, the James Webb offers new perspectives on understanding the evolution of stars and planets. The use of advanced scientific instruments has allowed scientists to discover and introduce concepts such as dark matter, dark energy, and the expansion of the universe. All these elements support the Big Bang Theory, with the theory of universal expansion depicting a picture of a constantly expanding universe, generating stars and galaxies while a mysterious force called dark energy fuels this expansion. The existence of dark matter, a form of invisible matter, has been the subject of various measurement methodologies over the years, but the precision provided by the James Webb Telescope through high-resolution images has allowed for calculating the amount of dark matter present in specific regions of the cosmos. 
The gravitational lensing effect is another useful tool, describing how massive objects warp space around them, influencing the curvature of light from distant sources. Observing these effects through the James Webb allows scientists to map the distribution of dark matter in the universe. The crucial relevance of the James Webb Telescope for Humanity becomes evident. Without it, many fundamental theories about the universe would not have seen the light, and the extraordinary images of distant stars and galaxies that we admire today would never have been acquired. However, despite its invaluable contribution to the scientific community, the James Webb Telescope does not stop in its mission. It has recently made surprising discoveries including planet-like objects captured in the Orion Nebula. This nebula, famous within the Milky Way and depicted as the sword in the constellation of Orion, had hidden such objects from previous searches, but the James Webb Telescope has brought these celestial secrets to light. In the vast cosmic expanse, black holes emerge as enigmatic celestial entities, representing some of the most perplexing and captivating wonders within the cosmic tapestry. They delineate domains where the supremacy of gravity is so potent that even the swiftest particles, including light, bow to its dominion. The allure of these cosmic enigmas lies in their veiled nature, spectral phantoms that elude direct observation, Yet their intricate gravitational choreography and energetic emissions imprint a profound presence on the cosmic stage. The term black hole only found its foothold in the scientific lexicon during the 1960s, thanks to the contributions of physicist John Wheeler. Before this era, these cosmic enigmas bore diverse names, ranging from the evocative dark stars to the poetic frozen stars, mirroring their unfathomable essence. The inception of the concept can be traced back to the intellectual endeavors of visionaries like John Michel and Pierre-Simon Laplace in the 18th century. Grounded in Newton's gravitational insights, they dared to envision stars so densely packed that light surrendered in its attempts to escape their gravitational clutches. The grandeur of black hole genesis unfolds in diverse forms, contingent upon their size and cosmic lineage. These mysteries might emerge from the remnants of colossal stars, their cores imploding under the weight of their ambitions, or through the clandestine convergence of galaxies, orchestrating the emergence of supermassive black holes, cosmic leviathans lurking at the hearts of galaxies. The most prevalent type, the stellar mass black hole, takes shape when a massive star exhausts its cosmic fuel and collapses, succumbing to its overwhelming gravitational embrace. In this cosmic spectacle, an immense surge of energy is unleashed, propelling forth a cataclysmic explosion known as a supernova. Amid this celestial tempest, the core endures, condensing into a singularity so dense and devoid of escape that it forms a black hole. This phenomenon occurs only if the core masses more than roughly three times the bulk of our sun, descending into an inescapable abyss. The universe is replete with wonder and attempting to pinpoint the exact number of these enigmatic voids roaming the cosmos is akin to grasping stardust. Direct observation remains challenging. Nonetheless, through conceptual frameworks and subtle traces, scientists theorize an array of black holes differing in dimensions and births. Startlingly, within our Milky Way galaxy alone, as many as a staggering 100 million stellar black holes could conceivably exist. In the heart of sizable galaxies, the grandeur reaches its apex as supermassive black holes potentially preside over their cosmic realms. Amid this cosmic menagerie, contemplation arises regarding the existence of primordial and minuscule black holes dispersed like cosmic seeds throughout the fabric of space. Despite tantalizing theories, a cosmic veil shrouds the conclusive proof of these elusive entities. The anticipation among scientists reached its pinnacle when the James Webb Space Telescope embarked on its cosmic odyssey. Foreseeing revelations about black holes, scientists were poised for discoveries. Indeed, this wondrous telescope has orchestrated a celestial symphony of discovery, utilizing its infrared prowess to unveil the secrets of the universe's earliest stars and galaxies forged in the wake of the Big Bang. In its spellbinding repertoire, the JWIT achieved a crescendo by uncovering the universe's most ancient black hole.
an astronomical leviathan, a staggering 10 million times heftier than our sun. Nestled at the heart of a fledgling galaxy born just 570 million years post-Big Bang, this cosmic behemoth's light has traversed unfathomable periods, 13.2 billion years, to reach our observatories. To work its magic, the JWST utilized two infrared virtuosos, the mid-infrared instrument and the near-infrared camera. Equipped with built-in spectrographs, these instruments function like cosmic prisms, dissecting light into its kaleidoscopic spectrum of frequencies and colors. The telescope extracted a symphony of telltale signatures from the distant galaxy, revealing the black hole's presence through its gravitational tango, altering the light's frequencies uniquely, akin to a cosmic fingerprint. The JWST assumed the role of a cosmic sleuth, employing an ingenious technique to unlock the secrets of the distant universe. It skillfully harnessed the property of light known as redshift, a measure of how much light stretches due to the universe's expansion. In the case of the galaxy harboring the ancient black hole, a staggering redshift of 12.5 was detected, suggesting that its light had been stretched by a factor of 13.5 since its birth, an astonishing revelation marking one of the highest redshifts ever recorded. There in the vast expanse of space lies a mysterious planet that transcends the ordinary space rocks we often encounter. This celestial wonder is none other than Earth's distant cousin, Proxima Centauri b, a mere 4.2 light years away from our home. Positioned comfortably within the habitable zone of its star, Kima Centauri Proxima Centauri b exudes an air of mystery and fascination. The question that captivates the minds of astronomers and space enthusiasts alike is whether this enigmatic planet harbors similarities to our Earth, boasting oceans and teeming with life on its surface. Proxima Centauri b isn't on a solitary journey. It shares its cosmic dance with a super-Earth companion named Proxima Centauri se. The star system holds secrets waiting to be unraveled, perhaps hiding another companion veiled in the cosmic shadows. However, the mysteries don't conclude with its companionship. Proxima Centauri b receives an energy boost from its star akin to Earth's relationship with the Sun. These planets, orbiting stars distinct from our familiar Sun, navigate the vast cosmos among a staggering 206 trillion stars. This multitude of celestial wanderers includes exoplanets, true cosmic nomads, free from the gravitational ties of any star, exploring the cosmic highways like rogue travelers. In this celestial caravan, one planet emerges as the protagonist Proxima Centauri b. This enigmatic world, with its distinctive character, experiences a year lasting merely 11.2 Earth days. Yet what truly sets it apart is its intimate proximity to its host star, nestled just 20 times closer than Earth is to the Sun. This closeness leads to extremes that defy our planetary norms with one side eternally bathed in the brilliance of its star, an everlasting daylight extravagance, while the flip side endures perpetual darkness, a cosmic midnight where the sun's warmth becomes a distant memory. The cosmic ballet of Proxima Centauri b unfolds around its host. The red dwarf Proxima Centauri, forming a trio with real Corus Centauri b and the spotlight stealer Proxima Centauri. This trio creates the cosmic equivalent of a neighboring star system, waltzing closest to our solar system. Among these celestial performers, Regal Canoris and Centu B form a stellar duo known as Alpha Centu A and B, both G and K types, masquerading as one bright entity in the Centaurus constellation, ranking as the third brightest stars in our night sky. Shifting our cosmic lens to Proxima Centauri, also known as Alpha Centauri C, we encounter a red dwarf, an M-type star positioned at a mesmerizing distance of 0.21 light years from its stellar companions. This is approximately 13,000 times the vast expanse between Earth and the Sun. Proxima Centauri claims the title of our nearest star, translated from Latin as the nearest star of Centaurus. Its celestial debut was orchestrated in 1915 by the sharp Scottish astronomer Robert Thorburn Eddington, as a red dwarf, Proxima Centauri is the energy-efficient superstar of the cosmos, relying on internal convection processes to shine for trillions of years. 
It is expected to stay in its main sequence star phase for another four trillion years. However, being a red dwarf comes with a flair for the dramatic, with frequent and unpredictable flares. As a lightweight star, its habitable zone is closer compared to our sun, estimated between 0.023 and 0.054 astronomical units. Proxima b, despite appearing as an earthly neighbor at a similar distance from its star, faces a cosmic assault. It is bombarded by extreme ultraviolet radiation from its sun, surpassing our sunlight's strength hundreds of times over. This radiation obliterates even the lightest hydrogen molecules, not to mention nitrogen and oxygen. Proxima b may lack the essential atmospheric components, the kind that regulates climate, keeps things cool, and supports a water-friendly surface. The skepticism about Proxima b's habitability prevails, but the quest for truth persists. One significant tool in the astronomical arsenal is the James Webb Space Telescope. Launched in 2018 after overcoming several delays, this telescope aims to capture accurate images that could help unravel the mysteries of Proxima b. Avi Loeb, a physicist from Harvard, explains that if a planet like Proxima b can absorb light from its star, it is likely to emit infrared light. The James Webb Telescope, with its proficiency in spying on infrared light, becomes a cosmic shutterbug, capturing shots of this invisible light dancing on the planet's surfaces. Eddie Turner, an astrophysicist from Princeton University, adds a layer of complexity, emphasizing that having an atmosphere doesn't necessarily guarantee the presence of life. Proxima b could be akin to Venus, a thick atmosphere 90 times heavier than Earth's, with temperatures hotter than a supernova. The quest to decipher the code of Proxima b is challenging, and the James Webb Telescope, acting as our interstellar Sherlock, faces a twist in the plot. Soaring costs and a space budget squeeze add suspense to this cosmic adventure. The thrilling aspect is that Proxima b is our cosmic neighbor, enhancing the excitement of the quest for life beyond our blue planet. However, embarking on a journey to Proxima Centauri is no walk in the park. Currently, it would take a staggering 75,000 years for a spacecraft like Voyager 2 to reach the Proxima Centauri system. Yet a nifty idea emerges, solar sails, Imagine sails as thin as a whisper, propelling a spacecraft toward the Alpha Centauri system and Proxima b, harnessing the power of sunlight. This spacecraft would surf the sunbeams, cruising at speeds 10 to 20 times faster than the speed of light, potentially shrinking the journey to a mere 20 years. The discovery of Proxima b injects excitement into space exploration, igniting curiosity and offering a burst of hope. Pluto, once the ninth planet in our solar system, enjoyed a prominent place in astronomical history for 76 years. However, beneath its charismatic celestial charm, Pluto harbored a secret that eluded the scientific community for decades. It was home to the smallest moon within the solar system. Despite its irregular orbit and slightly oblong shape, Pluto was a darling oddity, a celestial underdog that held an endearing place in the hearts of both children and adults. But this cherished status was destined to face a reckoning as the evolving landscape of astronomical knowledge unfolded. In the dynamic realm of astronomy, change is the only constant. Pluto's fate, therefore, was not an isolated instance, but rather a part of the relentless churn of scientific progress. Public sentiment was deeply attached to Pluto, and when the momentous decision was made to reclassify it as a minor planet some 15 years ago, it gave rise to a public outcry. The International Astronomical Union, IAU, had undertaken a significant revision of the definition of a planet. Under the new criteria, a celestial body needed to meet three key requirements to attain planetary status. Orbiting the Sun, possessing sufficient mass for gravity to shape it into a roughly spherical form, and clearing its orbital neighborhood of any debris. Pluto succeeded in satisfying the first two criteria, but fell short in the third, eventually leading to its demotion to a dwarf planet. The term planet is not a fixed entity, but has been subject to various interpretations throughout the course of history. In the 1600s, for instance, the term was expansively applied, and any substantial object seen to be in orbit around the Sun was promptly christened as a planet. 
This classification even extended to moons orbiting other planets, broadening the boundaries of the planetary family. With the emergence of the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter in the 1800s, a new group of celestial bodies emerged, distinct from conventional planets. Much like the journey of Pluto, which followed a similar trajectory, these objects were initially perceived as planets, only to be eventually reclassified as minor planets. These historical shifts in nomenclature underscore the evolving nature of the term planet and the persistent challenges it presents to scientific classification. However, it was not merely the story of Pluto and Ceres that highlighted the contentious nature of planetary definitions. The history of the term planet further extends to its application to moons. Until the 1920s, moons were routinely referred to as planets or secondary planets by scientists. This convention was not restricted to scientific circles and even pervaded popular culture, primarily driven by astrological almanacs. The term's resilience in non-scientific media played a pivotal role in perpetuating the notion of moons as planets, despite scientific evidence suggesting otherwise. In the 1960s, as humanity's exploration of space expanded, spacecraft provided the first direct observations of minor planets, marking a significant turning point in our understanding of the solar system. These observations revealed distinctions between minor planets and the larger, more familiar spherical planets, necessitating a more precise definition of the term planet. It was at this juncture that the IAU stepped in to offer a novel definition of a planet, sparking debate and discussion within the scientific community. The IAU's definition of a planet aimed to strike a balance between recognizing the diversity of celestial objects in the solar system and preventing the classification of an excessive number of planets. This choice was driven by the consideration of the complexity of teaching and comprehending a solar system with hundreds or even thousands of planets. However, as we traverse the dynamic landscape of astronomy, questions emerge concerning whether focusing solely on eight planets in our solar system could inadvertently discourage people from delving deeper into the cosmos. The definition of a planet remains subject to interpretation underscoring the inherent subjectivity in our classification systems. The journey of Pluto took a fresh twist when NASA's New Horizons probe embarked on its historic flyby of the dwarf planet in 2015. This mission unveiled a Pluto that defied preconceived notions. Nitrogen cliffs reminiscent of Norway's rugged shoreline, methane ice shards reaching heights akin to city skyscrapers, and a massive heart-shaped feature captured the collective imagination. New Horizons' scrutiny revealed a Pluto deeply scarred by fissures, some more profound than the Grand Canyon and frozen volcanoes towering higher than the Himalayas. This unprecedented visual feast left scientists and the public awe-inspired, affirming the dynamic nature of Pluto. New Horizons' close-ups of Pluto's near side provided a treasure trove of data, with details down to a mile of Pluto's surface a resolution approximately 250 times higher than what the Hubble Space Telescope, orbiting our Earth, could achieve. As the scientific community eagerly delved into this newfound wealth of information, the far side of Pluto remained ensconced in darkness, beckoning for exploration. The far side of Pluto, for scientists, represented an enigmatic frontier, just as enticing as the near side. The initial images, despite their lower resolution, unveiled a Pluto that retained the attributes of a planetary world. A heart-shaped feature, boldly etched north of the equator, corroborated Pluto's dynamic character. An expansive frozen basin named Sputnik Planitia, adorned with colossal glaciers, garnered attention for its profound influence on Pluto's dynamics. The imagery presented its unique set of challenges, primarily driven by lower resolution, However, these snapshots extended a fascinating glimpse into the intriguing aspects of Pluto's topography. Among the fascinating discoveries were the unusual fractures gracing Pluto's far side. These geological features bolstered the notion of a subsurface ocean beneath Pluto's icy crust. Scientists speculated about the history of this ocean, musing over the possibility of a cold start, where the ocean initially froze during Pluto's formation. Over time, the heat generated by the planet's rocky core would have worked to thaw the icy depths, 
causing surface wrinkling and cracking, akin to an apple's skin after an extended stay in the refrigerator. Pluto's Rift, a lengthy fissure meandering from the North Pole to the South Pole, appeared as evidence of the ocean's cooling and freezing. In many ways, it mirrored Earth's East African Rift system, though the underlying processes were fundamentally different. Earth's rifts were shaped by the movement of continents, whereas Pluto's rift likely resulted from the freezing and expanding ocean. This newfound understanding of Pluto's geological features shed light on the possibility of subsurface oceans and the role they could play in the planet's overall dynamics. One of the most intriguing aspects of Pluto's far side was its complex, fractured terrain, known as chaotic terrain. This patchwork of hills, fissures, and plains hinted at seismic activity resulting from the collision of subterranean waves. These waves, originating from the rumblings of Pluto's interior, eventually converged on the far side, creating cracks and fissures, mirroring what we observe on Pluto's moon, Charon. This dynamic feature captured the imagination of planetary scientists, and Pluto's chaotic terrain became a subject of profound inquiry. The expansive measurements and images from Pluto's far side further supported the hypothesis of a subsurface ocean and provided valuable insights into the planet's formation and history. For much of human history, people believed that the planet Earth was the center of the universe. That's understandable. Earth is pretty big. We now know that it's a speck compared to the universe. To get a sense of that scale, consider this grain of sand held at arm's length. In that tiny area, there are almost 10,000 entire galaxies. That's a quadrillion stars and as many planetary systems. In fact, there are surely more entire worlds in the observable universe than there are grains of sand on this one. Have you ever wondered just how massive the universe is? Well, prepare to be amazed. The observable universe, which is the part we can see from Earth, spans a staggering 93 billion light years across. But here's the mind-blowing part. That's only the fraction of the universe we can currently observe. There's potentially an infinite amount more beyond what our eyes can see. It's a tantalizing mystery, but fear not. For we have a remarkable two-letter disposal, the James Webb Space Telescope. The James Webb Space Telescope, combined with the brilliant minds of thinkers like Roger Penrose, allows us to push the boundaries of our understanding of the universe. This incredible telescope will help us uncover cosmic secrets that have remained hidden for eons. With its ability to detect various forms of light, from visible to infrared, it will reveal new insights into the evolution and structure of our awe-inspiring universe. To truly comprehend the vastness of the observable universe, let's start by understanding the concept of the observable universe itself. When we gaze into the night sky, the light that reaches us from distant objects has traveled for an astonishingly long time. This is because the universe is approximately 13.8 billion years old. So when we look at something far away, we're actually observing light that left that object billions of years ago. However, there is a limit to how far we can see. If an object is so far away that its light would have taken more than 13.8 billion years to reach us, it remains beyond our observation. This boundary creates a bubble around us known as the observable universe. The radius of this bubble extends approximately 46 billion light years in all directions from Earth. Fascinatingly, this size is larger than the age of the universe itself because the universe has been expanding since its inception. The expansion of the universe plays a crucial role in its vastness. As the universe expands, Objects that emitted light 13.8 billion years ago have moved even farther away from us. Consequently, our observable universe encompasses a mind-boggling expanse of 93 billion light years across. And remember, that's only what we can currently see. There is likely so much more universe out there waiting to be discovered. Once the light from those distant regions reaches us within our observable universe, there is a bustling cosmic metropolis. It's home to at least two trillion galaxies, each hosting billions or even trillions of stars, along with planets and other celestial objects. And it doesn't stop at what we can directly observe. 
There are phenomena and substances in the universe that we can't see with our eyes alone, but are nonetheless present through other means. One such mystery is dark matter. Although invisible and intangible, we infer its existence through its gravitational effects on galaxies. Dark matter remains elusive, yet its presence is crucial for shaping the structure of the universe. Another enigma is dark energy, an even stranger force responsible for the universe's accelerating expansion. It pervades space and drives galaxies apart faster and faster over time. Moreover, there is the faint glow of radiation known as the Cosmic Microwave Background CMB. This afterglow originates from the Big Bang, the event that marked the birth of the universe. It permeates space and provides valuable clues about the early stages of our cosmic journey. Additionally, we have neutrinos, elusive particles whizzing through space with minimal interaction, yet they leave traces of their existence. The vastness of the universe becomes even more apparent when we consider the concept of redshift. As our universe expands, it stretches out the waves of light emitted by distant objects, making them longer. This phenomenon is known as redshift. The farther an object is from us, the more its light is redshifted. By studying this redshift, astronomers can determine the distance of celestial objects and piece together the cosmic puzzle. Imagine, if you will, our observable universe as a grand cosmic show. We are privileged to have front row seats, but there's a catch. We're watching everything on a delay. When we observe a star located, let's say, 10 light years away, we're not seeing it as it is now. We're actually witnessing the light that left it 10 years ago. The farther away an object is, the older the light we observe. By examining objects at different distances, we can effectively map the history and evolution of the universe, providing us a glimpse into its own awe-inspiring past. The James Webb Space Telescope by NASA, launched in December 2021, is a window into the unknown, a watchful eye focused on the infinite cosmos. In its mission of exploration, this extraordinary telescope has revealed a new and fascinating world, announcing a discovery that has left the international scientific community in awe. The exoplanet K218b, located in the constellation Leo. The JWST is not an ordinary telescope, but an advanced infrared observatory located about a million miles from Earth, with a fixed and wide field of view that extends into deep space. Its main functions include the detection and detailed analysis of exoplanet atmospheres, as well as the search for conditions that could be favorable to life as we know it. But the discovery of exoplanet K218b was not accidental, but the result of careful observation and analysis of collected data. The first time we heard about K218b was in 2016, during NASA's K2 mission. On that occasion, the exoplanet showed intriguing variations in light as it transited its host star, which prompted scientists to further investigate the characteristics of its atmosphere and surface. K218b has therefore been revealed as a hydrogen-rich planet with vast oceans believed to exist beneath its atmosphere. The presence of carbon-based molecules in the atmosphere, essential for life as we know it, has strengthened the hypothesis that K218b could be a hospitable environment for life. The discovery of dimethyl sulfide DMS molecules in the atmosphere of K218b has further emphasized this possibility. As on Earth, DMS is primarily produced by living organisms, particularly marine phytoplankton. The presence of DMS on K218b is a groundbreaking discovery, suggesting the possible existence of life on this distant exoplanet. However, these discoveries must always be approached with cautious optimism. The confirmation of life is a complex process that requires more data, meticulous analysis, and validation. The distance from its star, the composition of its atmosphere, and the characteristics of the host star all play a fundamental role in determining the possibility of a planet hosting life. Although K218b shows promising signs, definitive confirmation of life requires more than just the presence of certain molecules. K218b, with its promising atmosphere and position in the habitable zone, tempts us with its potential. The composition of its atmosphere and the absence of certain molecules suggest the existence of oceans beneath its hydrogen-rich atmosphere, potentially creating favorable conditions for life. 
These are the stories that the JWST tells us as it explores the grand universe, revealing its mysteries and infinite possibilities.